Dear Dale, happy birthday. March 22nd, 1950. Growing up with you, uh, I want to tell everyone here and I want to, uh, you know, immortalize uh, for our children and our grandchildren that growing up with you in Nevada City on Grove Street, uh, teaching you how to fish and having to take care of you and keeping you from drowning uh, as when we went fishing was uh, my greatest responsibility in life as a young, uh, maybe seven to fourteen-year-old uh, uh, big brother to you, and uh, uh, before uh, Donna uh, arrived, and uh, uh, <clears throat> you quickly learned that because I had to keep my eyes on you, uh, I, the easiest thing for for me to do was to keep you behind me. That if you were behind me, I could keep my eyes on you, and if you were to fall in the water, I could catch you and, and keep you from drowning. And uh, but you somehow thought that because I was in front of you, that that uh, I was getting the first crack at the fish, and you became a hole hopper. A hole hopper is where you lurch ahead of me and go way up to the big hole and get your line in first, catch the biggest fish and the most fish, and then wait for me to get there. Not good, but your daily behavior. But after you learned how to fish and became a fish predator, for sure, uh, growing up with you in little sleepy Nevada City, sleeping out on the deck together underneath the stars, talking about our dreams and what we were going to do when we would grow up, and you uh, playing with uh, army men and me, you know, fixing bicycles and cars or whatever. Uh, we had a great life with uh, beautiful mom and dad, uh, Eddie and Twyla Ferrano, who worked hard in uh, uh, growing us up. And um, off, uh, you've always said how much it, uh, it bothered you that, that when I went off to go to the Army and gave you my car and everything else that we didn't have the, the family or you didn't have a party for me to say uh, goodbye. And uh, I just want you to know that when I would call in, because uh, I, I got drafted in uh, September, when I would call in to Dad every Sunday, he would tell me about you and what a, a, a rock star brother I had, that he was the quarterback of the uh, uh, Nevada Union High School team and that you guys were winning every game and I never got to see one of your games. And I, I, I always wanted to see your games but I just wasn't home. But anyway, we were all so proud of you. And you went on to get a scholarship and went to Stanford. And I was then and I am now so proud of you. You've been a great brother. My beautiful sister Donna and I have, and you have worked together side by side and closely for 40 years. I enjoy every day that we talk and uh, the experiences that we've had and we've had great experiences all over the world meeting great people doing great tours and enjoying a great life uh, my brother I love you my family loves you we're all so proud of you congratulations on your big birthday and many 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 more and before I uh, kind of sign off on my little testimonial, I have to tell everyone that Kim Ferrano was sent from God to the Ferrano family. The Ferrano family has frequent family gatherings organized and put on by Kim Ferrano. Uh, Kim and Dell, uh, we just have annual events uh, for which you're going to be seeing pictures throughout this uh, party where we just go on grand adventures and just grand trips, family trips where the entire family goes and we all get to remain caught up and close to each other and uh, so working together and 
vacationing together and being together is the number one Toronto family activity. Uh, we're glad that all of uh, your friends, our friends, are all here uh, to enjoy this uh, great celebration. I, I love you. We love you. Thank you, Kim Ferrano, for just being the most wonderful, gracious, lovely hostess and wife to my brother. He's never been happier. Uh, we are grateful and happy, and thank you, and I love you.